pay me, pay me, pay me my silver now. Pay me or go to jail, pay me my silver Good morning, now. good morning, BigSquareRoadRoad.com. It's your morning, horn is easy, your sip of chaga coffee. I will be talking to Miss Jenny Moonstone today. No, tomorrow. Um, what's that old saying? Millionaires don't believe in astrology, but billionaires do. Jenny Moonstone has nailed it. Absolutely nailed it. The silver knights that she talked about in my readings. Go to roadtoroad.com. It's on the private road. Get into the Jenny Moonstone readings. Absolutely nailed it. Absolutely nailed it. Um, I don't even know what to say. Go to JennyMoonstone.com. Get your own reading. Uh, this is a. It, this is. Don't even look at the price anymore. Price means nothing. The silver game is up. Finished. Done. Done. By the end of the. Well, the new moon is on February 11th. What did I say? From the full moon to the new moon. That's the end game for silver. Again, millionaires don't believe in astrology, billionaires do. And the people who run our entire system, they absolutely do. All right, now let's get down to the brass tacks for people who don't believe in astrology or psychics or anything like that. Let's just talk about what the hell's going on. I can explain it to you in, eh, we'll give it 20 minutes. Physical premiums are off the charts. People are like, oh, this is a short-term thing, Bix. You know, it happens all the time. It is not a short-term thing. This is a breaking of the old paper system and the new system. The paper system, which I'll show you in a second, is breaking even worse. And watch this. So this is from Zero Hedge. Physical premium to paper hits record as silver market tears in two. The shortage of physical silver is exposing a tear in the precious metals market, unlike any we have seen before. As detailed below, various executives from bullion dealers have explained that huge demand has left them with no supply for physical silver. While silver futures paper prices have stabilized modestly during the day, all the dealers are out and they won't get any, my friends. They won't get any for a long time. And here's why. Look what happened yesterday on the COMEX. Look at that. 2 billion, 2.1 billion ounces dumped. 2.1 billion ounces dumped on the comics. These two used to stand out the day before yesterday. Look at that. That is pure fraud, pure control. But I'm going to show you how this game works. Yesterday I showed you who's playing the game. Who are the big players? Right here. The, the three big coordinators are Vincent Viola, Virtu Financial, a high speed, high speed rigging company, computer expert, that company. Vincent Viola. Number two, JP Morgan controls all the physical aspects of this game. And number three, BlackRock. Those are the three colluders. And here's the list of banks who are playing the same game. ABM Amaro, Barclays, Citibank, Credit Suisse, Goldman, HSBC, Merrill Lynch, Morgan Stanley, RBC, Capital. Scotiabank, UBS. That's that's your realm. Now, those banks, the role they play is they are on the COMEX. They have COMEX shorts, but they transfer the silver over to SLV because they still have control of it. With SLV, they deposit the silver so they can tell the COMEX, hey, I own, I this is not a naked short over here. Because over here on SLV, I own these authorized participant shares. I'm the only one that can pull them out. The authorized participant document in SLV is very specific about who can withdraw their silver. It's just a holding place. When you buy an SLV share, Citibank will put metal, their own metal. They're double counting their metal. You don't own that silver. Only they can withdraw it. That's how the game is played. But well, now we know how the game is played. So what's happening? We are seeing massive, massive, massive volumes. Look at yesterday. 
Look at the volume of SLV. Look at that. Holy crap. Triple the day before. 280 million shares. We are looking at a physical deposit necessary today. I don't know what it is. If, if my theory is correct, and this is how the game is played, they will deposit. And let me show you where I have it. They will deposit over 50 million ounces today, if this is how the game is played. But remember, they still are the only ones that can withdraw it. Yesterday, 20 million ounces deposited. The day before, 37 million ounces deposited. Let's see if the share volumes, there it is, 37 million here, 20 here. That's why I'm saying over 50 million should go in yesterday. It'll go in today because it was traded yesterday. Now, shorts are involved in that too. It might be less than 50. They might do 40 million with 10 million in shorts. We will see. But that's how these con artists play this game. Multiple ownership. And oh, by the way, did I tell you that most of this gold that was deposited is actually leased gold. It's not even owned by Barclays and HSBC and Citibank. It's leased from JP Morgan. That's how they were able to deposit 37 million, 20 million. You think they had big truckloads coming in to place it into the coffers of SLV warehouses? No. It's on JP Morgan's books. They just changed the accounting. These shares are rehypothecated, just like everything else at the DTCC. It's a fraud. I hope everybody understands that. Again, look what happened yesterday. Double. Over 2 billion ounces dumped onto the market. And they still couldn't stop it. That's why I'm, this is not Reddit, my friends. These are not Reddit people. These are the good guys taking out the bad guys. The good guys have infinite capital. Infinite capital. Yes, it is within the Federal Reserve. They're taking them down. Look at this. To, look at that. Average daily volume. Average 65-day average volume is 34 million ounces. Yesterday, right here, 280 million ounces. I don't know what's going to go on today, but this 280 million is a, translates into a positive of over 50 million ounces. We'll find out. I'm doing this the morning of the second. They announce how many ounces are deposited later in the day. If it's 50 million or around there, including the shorts, this theory is correct that they're playing a huge game. They're shorting on the comics, they're depositing into SLV. Who really owns the SLV silver? Who owns anything? If, if you have a legal right to pull it out, you own it. And you can go claim to the CFTC, the bumbling idiots, that, oh, I'm, I'm hedged. Look, I own this amount of silver. Here's, here's my certificate from J.P. Morgan that says I own it. Even though J.P. Morgan is just leasing it to him. It's a double short. This game is over. They're being exposed. Keep it up. I know you can't buy physical silver. You will never be able to buy physical silver. It's over. <clears throat> worst comes to worst, just buy SLV. And then it, when silver becomes available at whatever price, flip it over. But you got a problem there. SLV is going to shut down. It's in the perspectives that they can shut down and all the authorized participants can remove their silver. It's a con game run by this mother plucker, Vincent Viola, Jamie Diamond, and BlackRock. Those are the three. Oh, by the way, did you guys notice that Citadel added to their... You now, a lot of people pointed to say, oh my God, Citadel's part of the you know, SLV. They're going to benefit to save themselves from GameStop. No, it's not true. <clears throat> it won't save them. It will destroy them. Anyway, Citadel got these shares back in uh, November, so long before the GameStop stuff. So, yes, of course, the banks are knee deep in silver and gold. 
but you need to get it. The banks are need to get in it because they want to rig it. You need to get it because this game is ending, and very fast. There will be have to be, if if, I, if my calculations are correct, there will have to be a deposit today in SLV of over fifty million ounces of silver, and this can go on day by day by day by day. My take: it started on the twenty eighth, the new moon. It's going to end on the 11th, and that's game over for the silver riggers. It could be game over for the entire system, which is more likely. You cannot have an unbacked fiat monetary system without the total and complete control of gold and silver prices. The moment that ends, it's over for the banks. When it's over for the banks, it's over for everything. And it's over for the banks. As soon as silver breaks free, the banks have maybe a couple days. Maybe. I'm looking at the end of the new moon for silver. Or the the beginning of the new moon. We had the full moon. Again, We, I, I'm just saying. <laughs> millionaires believe in astronomy and astrology. Bill, millionaires don't believe. <laughs> Billionaires know. Because they rig the system. Again, go to roadtoruda.com. Figure out, oh my God, Bix was right all along. The Federal Reserve, people behind the Fed, the good guys behind the Fed are going to take down the banks. How long have I been screaming that? This kind of volume, that kind of volume is not, and I repeat, is not. This kind of volume is not Reddit. This kind of volume is the good guys creating money at the Federal Reserve. The order has been down, sent down, said, take down the banking cabal. The Rothschilds, the Rockefellers, these evil bastards. The people that Dick Allgaier says could never be taken down. The order has been given, take them down and use silver to do it. If you don't know what I'm talking about, go to roadrooter.com, go through all the archives, join the private road and get all the Jenny Moonstone readings. I use everything. I, I use like 25 years of banking experience. I use all my contacts. I use the supply demand. I use all the derivatives and I use the astrology and astronomy. Why not? Yes. So many gold bugs are absolutely closed-minded when they analyze gold. They can't see these billions of ounces in the, in, the, in the sand of the Grand Canyon, the Colorado River. Placer gold all throughout the Grand Canyon. All throughout the Grand Canyon. So Woodrow Wilson shut it down right after he signed the Federal Reserve Act because they found billions and billions of ounces of gold in the banks of the Colorado River. They built dams to hide a lot of it. Chocolate Mountain, California. Drilled through there, found massive amounts of gold. Massive. Yamashita's gold, 100% true. Peggy and Sterling Seagrave spent their whole lives documenting it. I have all the documents. Read Gold Warriors and you'll understand gold is massively plentiful. Silver is massively scarce. Mark my words, the gold-silver ratio is going to go from its current 70 to 1 or whatever crazy number it is right now down to 8 to 1, 4 to 1, 1 to 1, and then it's going to flip. There's just not enough silver out there. If you own gold, swap it for silver. Well, you can't anymore. Sorry. You blew it. <laughs> you can't anymore because you can't get any silver. Did you, did you hear all these precious metals dealers over the past 24 hours, over the past weekend? What were they saying? Oh, my God, we're running out of gold. No. They were saying, we are out of silver, and we have no idea when we're going to get any. That silver-gold ratio will go at least one to one, probably one to four. Why? Because there's a hell of a lot more gold than they're saying. There's a hell of a lot less silver, and oh, by the way, 
Silver's got the dual use for industrial and monetary silver. And everybody and their mother is going to be fighting for silver, including the huge pockets of the manufacturers. How much money does Apple Computer have to buy silver? How much money does Samsung have to buy silver? If you can find an ounce of silver, if you, we're going to start plucking the silver out of our fillings to make money. <laughs> anyway, that's where we are. Um, price doesn't matter anymore. You know, you look at the price. Oh my God, they're slamming silver bits. What are we going to do? Price doesn't matter. This matters. Volume, physical silver deposited. Watch the 50 million ounces go into SLV today. And that will continue to grow because who's doing it? It's not Reddit. It's not the little guy. That's It's a perfect cover, mind you. It's the good guys. It's the people at the Federal Reserve Bank behind the scenes, the Federal Reserve Bank of Boston. If you think I'm absolutely crazy, go to RoadToRear.com and read every single page I've written about it. I think I'm at 3,000 now. And watch all my videos. Go to YouTube, watch all my videos. Some, A lot of them I had to take down because I was talking about the deep state. They don't let you talk about that stuff anymore in America. There is no freedom in America anymore. But we can fight and get it back. And listen to my song, Pay Me My Silver Now. It, it tells part of the story for silver. Pay me my silver now. That should be our new national anthem. <laughs> Spicks where, again, if you want to join the private road at Road to Ruta, go to RoadToRuta.com. Get all the Jenny Moonstone readings along with a ton of other stuff. Let's take a look at the private road real quick here. Look at all these articles. I have a Theta page. If you don't have Theta yet, all you gold bugs and newly rich silver people, go get yourself some Theta. It is the future of the internet. Not necessarily cryptos. It is the future of cryptos, but it is the future of the internet. And that is huge. I've got uh, Road to the Future, Year Zero updates, Year Woo updates, Full Cliff High interview from Las Vegas when he said, oh my God, I don't know if we're going to make it over these next 10 years. Here's what's coming down the pike. And he explains it all. Before the pandemic, he was explaining, we all might die. Before the pandemic, he said that. Fed bailouts on July 24th. Here's some real interesting stuff. The Wizard of Oz stuff that I've analyzed, the two new movies that have come out. Oz the Great and Powerful and all that. If you look deep inside that movie, you know how they tell in movies, they tell you what's going to happen before it happens. Those two movies, both of them. How do the bad guys get killed? How does the evil wicked witch get killed? Silver. Watch both those movies. And then read my analysis. And here's, here's another prediction. It would be a prediction for this month. Warren Buffett's going to announce he's buying silver. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Keep an eye out for that. All right. So you want to join the private road, go to roadroo.com and hit subscribe today. And it's $2.99 for a year and you get access to everything. This is Bix. I'll talk to you guys later. Well, here's a true story. About a man just like you He worked his whole life He was honest and true Built up a nest egg The way they said to Invest in the market Money works for you and Everything is fine Picking the winners every time Started to believe he can make dollars out of dime. Little did he know he's being primed for a fall. The riggers let you play, then the riggers steal the ball. We want free markets, not a million fem trades. Lest everyone's honest, we're gonna lose what we made. We got to shut down exchanges. Trade one for one. We want free markets. Well, our work's just begun. Free markets are the road to freedom. A cap. 
hospital is not as bad as they say. The world has never tried it, rigging markets every day. Socialists fail every time in every way. We need a better system to forge a better day. We want free markets, not a million phantom trades. Lest everyone's honest, we're gonna lose what we made. We gotta shut down exchanges till they trade one for one. We want free markets, our work's just begun. Free markets are the road to freedom. I said free markets are the road to freedom. solution if only done right we can take out the liars bring dark into light and trust in the math not the people who lie I think we can make it if we give it a try we want free markets not a million phantom trades lest everyone's on we're gonna lose what we made We gotta shut down exchanges Till they trade one for one We want free markets Our work's just begun Cause free markets Are the road to freedom I said free markets Are the road to freedom Free markets are the road to freedom.